Hello again, YouTube! Today we are going to be doing another cosplay video. Where's the camera? <laughs> so, Disney Plus has a bunch of X Men content, and I have been re watching X Men Evolution. I watched it as a kid growing up and always thought it was super cool and fun, and re watching it, I really want to cosplay rogue from the show. This video I'm gonna be making her civilian clothes but I do eventually want to do her x-men uniform as well because it's also super cool. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna pull up her outfit and kind of just put together a plan for what I need to make and what materials I'm gonna need. All right, um, so here's Rogue's outfit, her civvies at least. The outfit's not too complex either. I don't think I'm gonna have to do a lot of sewing, which I'm happy about. I think the only things I'm going to have to sew are her green top, this sheer top she has. I have this green sheer fabric, which I think will work nicely. So she's also got this pleather skirt, which I have this leftover fabric from when I made my Raven cosplay, which is nice and stretchy, but also has the, the pleather texture. And then she also wears these bracelets, like a choker and necklaces with like studs on them that I'll need to make. And then her gloves. I don't have gloves exactly like her, so I'm probably just gonna sew some gloves. I think, yeah, as far as sewing, that's all I'm gonna have to do. This will probably be a pretty quick build. So for, the, oh my gosh, my voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, for her shirt pattern, I just used an existing shirt I had that was similar to hers. <laughs> then um, use that as the basis for my pattern and then just put it on top of my fabric and yeah, it was that easy. So this fabric tend to fray a lot and I didn't want to have to deal with that while sewing so I just put fray check on the ends to prevent it from doing so. Once the fray check was dried I just sewed it all together. I made sure um, to do what I believe is called a French seam which basically you just fold the raw edge into itself that way none of your raw edges are exposed on the inside and that just I was so paranoid about it fraying while wearing it too, so I just made sure I wouldn't have to deal with that raw edge at all. Because the neckline was so high on this shirt, I needed to make sure I had enough room for my big head, so I cut a slit in the back and then just added a snap, that way I could uh, put the two pieces back together when it's on. And yeah, that was that. So yesterday I finished the shirt and today I'm going to start working on the skirt. The skirt shouldn't be too complicated. All I'm doing is measuring my waist and where I want the skirt to end and putting those measurements on my fabric and cutting out essentially like a big square or rectangle um, and just making sure I leave room for seam allowance and then I'm gonna sew them together and just hem it and add some elastic so it stays on me <laughs> and yeah that's it for the skirt all right we are on to rogues gloves basically all I'm doing is tracing my hand like you're in kindergarten I'm gonna cut two of these out for each hand making sure again that i leave room for seam allowance all right so i have both the hands cut out and pinned together and now i need to sew them all right here's the first glove it's not the most perfect thing ever but it does the job We're almost done i need to hem 
the bottom here and then she has an open area on the back of her hand so what I'm going to do is when it's on me I'm just gonna take some chalk and draw where I want that to be. I'm gonna cut this open and then fold it over and sew it by hand. But then yeah, that's the first glove. Hey, so it's been a bit of a time gap. I actually completed the last few items of this cosplay off camera. So I'm gonna show you what I did just really quick. Finished her accessories so her bracelets and her necklace and this is just the fabric I used for her skirt um, wrapped around some foam and then the studs are just googly eyes you can hear them and then the other thing I did was add these green straps to her boots I made a rectangle uh, out of some foam and wrapped leftover fabric from the shirt around it and then used warbler to create a hook and so it just hooks on. They don't sit super flat, which I'm okay with, I guess. It's not amazing, but I didn't want to glue anything down on the shoe permanently because I want to wear these in my real life and possibly use them for any other cosplays that might need them. So that's all I did off camera. The cosplay is officially complete. So today I'm doing the makeup and trying it all on and we'll have the reveal. For the makeup, it's pretty simple. She has a really pale look with some like purple lipstick and eyeshadow. So I'm probably just gonna do it uh, over voiceover because it's really simple. Hi Kiki, here's my cat. She wants to eat my microphone. You wanna say hello? Get it. Good one. <laughs> That's Kiki. So for this, I already started with foundation I already added on, so I just went ahead and did my brows and uh, curled my eyelashes. Uh, and then for the eyeshadow, I mixed the blue and purple colors here on this palette to make a cooler shade of purple. Because her purple is very cool toned, has lots of blue in it. Um, and I made sure I applied it underneath as well. And then to create more of a pop, I mixed this dark blue with both those shades and then just uh, applied it in the creases of my eyes. Next, I added a thick eyeliner with a wing as well as some false eyelashes just to help my eyes pop even more. So while the eyelash glue was drying, I added some pale powder to my face and then to finish the look, I put on a purple lip and that was it. I think this is it for the makeup look. I'm gonna put everything on and be back with the reveal. Hey y'all. <laughs> um, so Rogue's all done and it feels amazing. This is a super cool costume. I feel so cool. <laughs> but yeah, this has been my Rogue cosplay progress journey video thing. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope it was informative or entertaining at least. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks so much again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!